Hey everybody, Jeff from Texas Tobacco Time, how are you? Hey, um, had a good time last night, I was hanging out with a few folks from the uh, Houston Pipe Club, uh, William043 and Big Jake. They both have YouTube channels, check them out, they're also on Instagram. So, we're smoking this new uh, Bulldog Pike, this could be Pike, Bulldog Pipe that I got uh, last week, I bought it off eBay to Butte. And I'm smoking some Deadwood Gold uh, in this. I got this from SGB Smoking. Grandpa Bones turned me on to it. So anyway, this is going to be a quick video just to hope everybody had a happy holiday. I did. It's um, a day or two before New Year's uh, here in Houston, Texas. I get a little chilly out. It's about 50 degrees at night. So a lot of people have asked me about my gardening. They know I have a uh, gardening show on YouTube, which I do. And uh, so I just wanted to give you a quick view, real quick view. One of my favorite things to do in uh, smoking a pipe is to smoke while I am here gardening. And uh, I just want to show a few things that I have in my backyard that uh, if you're interested, if you want to talk to me about, you can grow in your backyard as well. So I'm going to flip the camera around show you guys some of the stuff that I got growing on here in my backyard. So if you'll take a look there, that's a uh, grapevines. So these are about two, three-year-old grapevines. You'll see this vine extends the entire length of the fence. So um, this is a particular grapevine because most grapes won't grow in Texas. But you'll see that this is about a three-year-old vine. And those that don't know, grapes will only grow on one-year-old wood. So this is all one-year-old wood that I expect to have unbelievable amount of grapes. Now I believe this grape um, is a black Spanish grape. So it is resistant to Pierce disease, and uh, it's used to make red, make red wine. So what you'll see here, and I've, tr I've trimmed all my, uh, my trees for the winter, I pruned them, is these are peach, this is a three-in-one peach, plum, and nectarine tree all trimmed. And here's another grapevine as well. So uh, I will have plenty of grapes growing in my backyard if anybody's interested in black Spanish wine. What you're looking at here is actually a three, a two-in-one apple tree. Apples, you may or may not know, do require a certain amount of frost hours to uh, produce fruit. And uh, hopefully we'll get it. Uh, this tree uh, uh, puts out an Anna apple and a Golden Dorset apple. So those two uh, particular uh, varieties of apples require less than 100 frost hours. So you'll see here, let me focus in, you'll see some buds that are starting to come out. And I had about um, 30 apples on this tree last year, and uh, it's just a battle between me and the squirrel uh, to get the apples. Anyway, down there you'll see blueberry bushes. Uh, it's a blueberry bush there, another blueberry bush, another apple tree right there, another nectarine tree in the background, and another blueberry bush. And here's an example. We still have, I still have some lemons growing, so you can take a look at these, this lemon tree here. Look at the size of this lemon. You can take a look at, I have an extra large hand, large, extra large. Look at the size of that lemon. Wow. Uh, we got some good stuff going on. So anyway, uh, check it over my crop uh, before the end of the year. Um, lots of good things going on. Uh, incredible things. This Friday, I'm going to be meeting the Houston... Um, uh, pipe Club at Stogie's in Westheimer. So if you're in Houston, uh, maybe we can meet you there. We'll do a video from there. But I really enjoy being in this pipe community. Again, uh, it's just about wrapping up most of my gardening at the end of the year. Um, as you see, I've pruned most of the stuff back. and uh, But I'm going to have a bumper crop next year. If you do garden, it's important to prune your trees and your vines. So the concentration of energy can go to the root. So you have more fruit next year. But this is just uh, my backyard garden, and there's uh, a lot more as well. Actually, I'll show you one more thing, which is kind of cool. This year, I, I grew uh, sweet potatoes, and I had a bumper crop uh, of sweet potatoes probably about, um, let me see. Let me make sure I don't kill myself going walking through these trees here. I had a bumper crop of about... Uh, I don't know, 30 sweet potatoes that were about the size of two softballs. So let me show you this. This is kind of cool. I have a little greenhouse, and any of you can do this in your backyard. Take a look at that. It's a greenhouse. Inside, I have uh, four tomato bush. Uh, they're bush dwarf tomato plants. 
and uh, you'll see there's condensation on here. I'm not going to waste the time to open it up, but uh, it gets down to about 30 degrees at night here. And um, with that 30 degrees, that will kill any tomato plant. This thing keeps the heat and the moisture in and keeps, allows me, and the plants get to about two feet dwarf. They produce eight ounce fruits, and I have uh, tomatoes all winter in here. So, um, uh, again, the greenhouse is about four by three, three feet. In addition, you'll see here we have more grape vines uh, that are posted here. More grape vines that are cut back and dormant. These are table grapes that will grow down here as well. And anybody who's a cook knows what that is. Yum. Cilantro. Uh, so if you like cilantro, I grow herbs as well. So lots of, uh, lots of great stuff here. Uh, every so often, I want to uh, uh, shake it up a little bit. When I look at the YouTube pipe community, I don't see a lot of people that do gardening, but I'm sure you do. But um, uh, I don't know. Uh, pipes and gardening go great together. And uh, I just wanted to leave you this quick video, quick update from uh, Texas Tobacco Times Garden here in Houston, Texas. Again, most of the stuff is ramping down for the year, but I'm still uh, getting some lemons and some other things here. Hope everybody has a good, safe New Year. Uh, signing out from Texas Tobacco Time. We'll see you Friday from Stogie's on Westheimer. Out.